Hello everyone. Welcome to Epic SaaS and the series of Salesforce development. Today I will be discussing about queueable epics in Salesforce. But before we deep dive into the today's topic, here's a short introduction about me. My name is Yash and I'm a senior Salesforce developer, a Trailblazer mentor and the co-founder of Crazy Cloud YouTube channel. If you want to connect with me onto the LinkedIn or YouTube channel, you can subscribe or you can scan the QR code below. So today's agenda is what is queueable Apex? Why to use queueable Apex? What is the syntax? Let's see an example. And finally, let's see how to execute a queueable Apex. Right? So first, let's understand what is queueable Apex. Queueable Apex is a hybrid class which gives you a class-like structure that the platform serializes for you. A simplified interface without start and finish methods and even allows you to utilize more than just primitive arguments. So basically, queueable Apex is just a mixture of batch Apex and the future Apex. So as we know that batch Apex is uh, batch Apex has three methods: start, finish, and execute. And future methods uh, cannot do not allow uh, primitive arguments, right? So what happens in queueable? Queuable have uh, queuable class does not have start and finish methods. It only have one method, which is execute. And also it allows you to have non-primitive data types, just like the S object data types, right? So it is a mixture of batch and future methods. <laughs> Let's see why to use queuable Apex. So the reasons to use queuable Apex are that it accepts non-primitive data types just like uh, the S object data types, uh, let's say account, contact, and any any custom object, right? Easy monitoring, easy monitoring. So what happens when you call a queueable Apex? It gives you a job ID, which can be monitored into your setup. So it is an easy monitoring job. Also the easy easy chaining job. What easy chaining jobs means? We know that future methods cannot call any other future methods. But in queuable Apex, it does not work like this. In queuable Apex, you can call another queuable, uh, queuable class from one queuable class, which means you can chain the queue, uh, you can chain multiple queuable jobs with each other. <clears throat> this is the basic syntax of queuable Apex. So, queuable Apex is nothing but a normal Apex class which implements queuable interface. And it does have only one, one method, which is execute. And it accepts one parameter, which is queuable context. Here it is an example of queuable Apex. So this is the class declaration, which is implementing a queuable interface. These are the variables, a list of account and ID parent ID. This is the method. Here we see we can see that a public void execute, which is accepting a parameter queuable context. And then what it is doing is whatever account it has been passed to. So whatever account list of accounts it got, uh, they are just you know looping through the uh, through the list of account and changing the parent ID to this parent ID. <coughs> Here how uh, here is how to execute a queuable apex so here we are just preparing a list of accounts for this example here it is accepting one list of account and one id so here we are preparing a list of accounts we do have a parent id here and now just we, we are just creating one instance of our apex class this is the instance of our Apex class. And this is how we call our future, uh, our queuable Apex. To call the queuable Apex, you just need to type system.nqjob and your uh, Apex class instance. Just pass a parameter of Apex class instance. It will return you a job ID. And job ID can be seen in, in the, let's say, in the setup menu. Here are some things to remember while working on queuable apexes. 
the execution of a queued job counts once against the shared limit of asynchronous method execution so basically uh, queuable apex comes under the asynchronous apex so all the governor limits in, uh, got enforced of uh, apex asynchronous governor limits <laughs> we can add up to 50 jobs to the queue with system.nq job in a single apex transaction when chaining the jobs, you, we can add only one job from an executing job with system.nq job, which means that only one child job can exist for each parent queuable job. So whenever you are working with a uh, queuable apex and if you want to chain the jobs, remember you can only call one queuable apex from another queuable apex. If you want to call another third, third queuable class, then you again need to call it from second class. So suppose we have first, second and third Queuable apexes, three apex classes. So you can only call second or third from first. You cannot call second and third from first. <clears throat> no limit is enforced on the depth of chained jobs. No limit is enforced. You can call two from one, three from two, four from three, five four from four. There is no depth limit which means that you can chain one job to another and repeat this process with each new child job to link it to a new child job. However, for developer addition and trialogs, the maximum stack depth for chaining job is five. For developer addition, we do have a limit of five chained jobs, which means we can chain jobs four times and the maximum number of jobs currently, uh, jobs in the chain is five. Okay, so let's try this example in our developer org. So first let's copy this. So what we are doing is we are we have just declared some declared few variables here. One is list of account, another one is one ID. And in the execute job execute method, we are just manipulating the parent ID field with this parent ID. Got it. Let's save this. And let's make Bluebird's coconut milk the parent of every account. Let's copy this record ID. Okay, now let's call this call this uh, queuable apex. How to call queuable apex? System dot job update job. But first, before before calling this queuable class, we need to uh, create an instance of our Apex class. So this is how we create an instance. So first, let's prepare the data. Let's open our execute anonymous window. Okay. So here, first we are preparing a list of accounts because it needs the list of accounts. It needs the parent ID. Here we are fetching this parent ID like this, where ID equals to this let's take all of the accounts okay so now what we are doing is first we are fetching all the accounts which exist into our salesforce and then we are just fetching one parent id parent record 
So basically, we are just trying to make this account as the parent of all the all the accounts into our Salesforce. So what it will do first, the list of accounts will go to here. The ID will go to here. The parent, this parent ID will get populated into this parent, right? You see, here is an instance which is accepting records and the ID, and here we are passing it like this. Correct. Now I'm just calling this system dot job update job. Let's debug the job ID. Okay. And execute this. We have got an error. Yeah, because we have missed one bracket. Illegal assignment from list of account to ID. Okay, so what we are doing is we are just doing this ID. We are storing this result into an ID, but this results, uh, this, re this will give us a list of accounts. So let's do it like this zero dot ID. And now execute this. Let's see. We have this uh, job ID. And let's see how to check the jobs. Let's go to setup. Search for the Apex jobs over here. And here you can see. Let's copy this job ID. Copy this job ID and search for it over here. See, this is the queuable Apex job. Here we have seen that update field, first exception on row, circular dependency, a parent account cannot be the child of an account it's already a parent of this so what we are doing here is we are making this pay this account as the sales self parent parent right so here let's exclude this where where id not equals to sorry where id not equals to this let's refresh this so what we were doing is well, we were calc we were fetching all the records of account so this record was also coming and we were trying to make this account as the parent of itself only. That's why I've excluded this account from the query result. See, this queuable is completed now. Let's go to any other account and let's see if the parent field got changed or not. You see, parent account is this. And the parent for this should be null. Correct. So this is how this is how uh, cable Apex works. This is your task to do. You you just need to create a cable Apex class that inserts the same contact for each account. Correct. If you have any doubt, so that's it for guys. That's it for today, guys. And I hope that it was very much informative to you. 
if you have any doubt you can ask me the question into the comment section below thank you